you can never have enough talented quarterbacks on a roster. And, and you know, my knee-jerk reaction as I'm watching the draft, Jalen Hurts, 53rd pick, and went, ooh, ooh, that, that, I didn't see that one coming. I don't think most people saw it coming. I think how Doug operates, Doug Peterson, the head coach. He's a gimmick and gadget guy. You know, he likes these guys that could do a lot of different things. And when you look at Jalen Hurts, unbelievable production in college as a passer and as a runner. The ability to move outside the pocket, you know, I mean, he, he, he's a complete package. So right. I think Doug looked at this as another kind of gadget, maybe early in his career, that he could develop into a, a consistent NFL quarterback. Because Hurts can throw, he's accurate, he's strong arm. So to me, he is the complete package. So when, when, after I backed out a little bit, I said, yeah. I, I, I'm buying into this pick. Should Carson Wentz buy into the pick, or should he feel threatened in that he's only 27 years old, and still this guy can do other things, maybe not the traditional quarterback, but he's still a quarterback. Should Michael, I can, give you a real, I can give you a real-life example. Me. Um, you know, in my 12th year in the league, the Eagles drafted Randall Cunningham in the second round, you know? Now, you know, what we know now, Randall became one hell of a player. <laughs> and, and, and so I, here I am in my 12th year, I find out the Eagles drafted a quarterback in the second round. It's like, okay, the writing's on the wall. You know, when you take a guy, right. the, you know, first or second round, they're the heir apparent. So I accepted Randall. I mean, I, I, I saw the talent he had. I accepted him, and I helped groom him. So, But that was, the difference is I was on the downside of my career. Carson Wentz is kind of in the middle right now, year five. So I'm not quite sure how he's going to accept this. In any universe, is there a, a quarterback controversy or an open competition for the starting quarterback job of the Philadelphia Eagles for this season? No, I don't believe so. I, I believe it's Carson's job, uh, and it, it's Carson's job, I believe, for a number of years. But that being said, you know, Doug's going to use Jalen Hurts. He's going to use him. The guy has too much talent to have him sit on the bench. You know, you can create that package for him. You know, just like Lamar Jackson had when he first came to Baltimore, when Joe Flacco's there, you know, you, you fit him in, you teach him, you groom him, and eventually you got a player. And, and the thing that's always in the back of my mind has been the injury history of Carson Wentz. And, and, and I don't know if, what anyone will say, what anyone publicly will say from the Eagles organization, but that clearly had to be in the back of your mind. Now, I'm, you know, I'm not going to say he's injury prone, uh, what, what, but he's been hurt. That was, those are the facts. I know Carson Wentz is feeling good right now for this reason. They had a baby girl last night, eight <laughs> pounds, two ounces, Hadley Jane Wentz. So no matter what happens on the football field, guys, he's going to be smiling. Uh, he's, got his, he's, he's got his baby. Now, as you see behind me, I got three kids, six grandkids. Who cares about football when you get right. something like that? But congratulations uh, to Carson and his wife. That's absolutely awesome. So He's probably not thinking a whole lot about Jalen Hurts at the moment. <laughs>